Do you think the fashion trends of today are weird? Wait until you see the ancient ones. Fashion has always been a part of human culture. Throughout history, it has evolved in various ways. While we may think that the fashion trends from the past were pretty straightforward, there are some weird facts about them. In this video, we will share some weird facts about fashion trend history. Watch on to find out. Welcome back to Timeless History, where we go back to time immemorial. Before heading into the video, kindly like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos about shocking history facts. Now, let's get started. 8. Male Corsets Corsets worn by men aren't a new tradition, as several famous men in history have been known to wear corsets or clothing that resembles corsets for therapeutic or aesthetic reasons. They were worn in the 19th century to facilitate proper upper body posture while on a horse, help soldiers fit into their uniform, and protect their spines if they were ever thrown off the horse. Additionally, it prevented kidney bruising as the soldiers were galloping along. However, corsets for men disappeared from mainstream fashion and went underground in the 20th century, becoming part of the subculture. But Dyer revived it in the 50s for his new look fashion. 7. The Ballet Boot Inspired by the ballerina point shoes, ballet boots became popular in the 80s as a contemporary fashion trend. It was a combination of high heels and pointed shoes. Due to this structure, the wearer's foot was forced to almost end point form. However, the boot wasn't made for dancing, standing, and long walks, making it irrelevant. A recent example is the armadillo shoes, made by the late British fashion designer Alexander McQueen, frequently worn by Lady Gaga. 6. The Wide Dress of the 18th Century Pannier was an undergarment women wore in the 17th and 18th centuries to make their hips look larger and extend their dresses. This style originated in Spanish, where a famous painter, Velázquez, was portraying women wearing these wide dresses at that time. Trends spread quickly back then as well. The wide dress became popular from Spain to France and then to the rest of Europe. The only problem is that towards the end of the 18th century, the dresses became so wide that women couldn't get inside any longer. They were stuck in between doors, and they also caught fire from the candles. This trend later turned into crinoline in the 19th century, a way better style. Crinoline was made from horsehair and thread or steel, and like pannier, they were worn under the actual skirts. But they were lighter, allowing them to move their legs very freely. However, the disadvantage of it is that the wearers were more susceptible to gusts of wind, making it dangerous near cliffs or at the top of tall buildings. 5. Wigs fixed with wooden frames we talked mostly about women, but men were looking weird too. In the 18th century, the wig trend exploded. While both men and women wore this wig, women mostly styled their hair using ships, hats, and other accessories, but men wore only wigs. They frequently competed on who had the biggest and most creative wigs. At some point, the wigs became so extravagant that they had to fix them with wooden frames. What do you think about this trend? Let's know that in the comment section. Four. The Huge Gainsborough Hat This hat was designed by the Duchess of Devonshire, Georgina herself, and worn by her. It became a trend and got its name when painter Thomas Gainsborough, a painter of the royal family back in the 18th century, revealed a painting of the Queen wearing this hat at the Royal Academy. The British women wanted a hat just like that, using huge feathers, foxtails, and all the accessories they could have. 3. Wearing Ships on Their Heads the coiffure a la Belle Poule was a hairstyle created by the French women to signify victory when the French Navy destroyed a British ship in 1778 with the French ship La Belle Poule. The women created this hairstyle as a sign of honor for the ship. The inventor of this weird hairstyle was Leonard Audi, the court hairdresser of Queen Marie Antoinette. Of course, everyone wants to wear what the queen is wearing. Therefore, the hairstyle became a sensation overnight. Do you think this fashion trend is the most weird? 2. High-heeled 16th-17th century shoes Since long shoes became unlawful, people began considering wearing high-heeled shoes up to 2 feet tall. These shoes are around the same length as medieval shoes but in height. These were more practical because women in Venice were wearing them. Venice was covered in mud and dirt, so women protected their dresses by wearing these high-heeled shoes but they needed a servant to hold them since they couldn't maintain their balance. Besides its practicality, this shoe is also linked with a woman's social status. 
only Kortzen's and patrician women could wear them as a portrayal of their importance. 1. Long Medieval Shoes At the beginning of the 14th century, men started wearing very long shoes, about two feet. These shoes were named Krakos after the city they were made from. Although they were made for both sexes, Krakow for the men seemed luxurious. Donning it on their skinny pants and their short tight tunics, they were manly. By the end of the century, the shoes had become so long that they had to reinforce the toes with bones, and it has become so popular all over Europe. The shoes kept growing and growing until King Edward IV passed a law that stopped them from growing any longer in 1463. Do you know any other weird fashion trends from the past? Let's know in the comment section. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to see more videos about the most disturbing